On what to speak about tonight, I came upon a quote. Commencement speeches were invented largely in the belief that outgoing college students should never be released into the world until they have been properly sedated. I'll do my best not to make that quote a reality. The first book of John, verse 1, reads, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. I begin with this scripture because I know that without God in my life, I would not have been given the opportunity to speak to you tonight. Beginnings. From the day we are born, our lives are filled with beginnings. Some beginnings are easily forgotten, and some become etched into our memory and remain with us forever. We have been enrolled in school for a little over two-thirds of our lives, and many beginnings have come to pass within this span of time. Allow me to recount for you what I believe are some of the most memorable beginnings of our school careers. The beginning of elementary school. I remember this day almost as if it were yesterday. Clinging to my mother's arm, I walked down the hallway of Jones Weed Elementary, toting with me my clear plastic book bag filled with all of the essentials. Pencils, paper, crayons, markers, colored pencils, pencil box, glue sticks, safety scissors, folders, Kleenex, Ziploc bags, hand sanitizer, baby wipes, band-aids. You get the idea. As I peered around the doorway of my classroom, I saw many new faces. Many of these faces I would see for the next 12 years. On that first day of elementary school, we began our education. From accelerated reader to being hooked on phonics, we were given the introductory tools we would need to succeed in our later years. Another beginning that clearly stands out in my mind is the beginning of middle school. My parents always told me, you only get one chance to make a first impression, and I took their words to heart. Middle school was a blank slate. Everyone gets to start over and make new first impressions. So, like every other sixth grade student, I took a deep breath, put my game face on, changed my mind, and instead, shyly walked into my homeroom class. For many students, middle school is a time of self-discovery. During those three years, our personalities and the people we would ultimately become began to take shape. Our educational experience was growing, and so was our character. And then finally, here it was, the day everyone had been waiting for, the beginning of high school. For the first time, the class of 2010 was finally unified under one roof. 439 new Bearcats took the high school by storm. We had our first class meeting, met our new bubbly guidance counselor, and met the big man on campus that lays down the law. Although we were all nervous about being in a new and seemingly large environment, we miraculously found all of our classes and quickly caught on to the ways of life at Bainbridge High School. We learned not to fall for the infamous elevator pass trick, that there is a certain side of the hallway you're supposed to walk on, that Principal Howell always has a way of being in the right place at the right time, and that if you ever needed a smile to make your day, Bobby D. Washington was just the person to make it happen. We began our high school careers, and we settled in for what we then believed would be the longest four years of our lives. We quickly discovered that our judgment of time was completely wrong. Before we knew it, our senior year arrived rolling in on two wheels. Somehow beyond our control, time had managed to speed up. The senior year is supposed to be a very special time. Time to finish your last classes, write your last papers, and create some of your last memories with your friends. But for the class of 2010, our senior year was different. For us, it was the beginning all over again. For the second time in four years, we were freshmen again. We were in a new environment at one Bearcat Boulevard, and we had to adjust to a new way of life. But we took it in stride. We were the seniors, and it was time to step up and be leaders. We found the new quickest ways to our classes, and occasionally pointed our lost teachers in the right direction. <laughs> However, 
Because we were seniors, we could not resist attempting to sell an elevator pass or two to the underclassmen. After all, it would now be a valid sale. But now, after all of the changes, all of the challenges, and all of the good times had by all, we have made it to this night. The class of 2010 carries a very important legacy in the life of Bainbridge High School. While in many ways we are continuing the legacy of the graduating classes before us, our class is beginning a new legacy. Not only are we the beginning of a new decade of students, we can proudly say that we are the first graduating class of the new Bainbridge High School. Other classes have come and gone, but our class will be recorded in the history books. Tonight is a very bittersweet moment. But listen to the words of U.S. Senator Orrin Hatch. There is a good reason they call these ceremonies commencement exercises. Graduation is not the end, it's the beginning. In a few moments, you will walk across this field and receive your high school diploma. This is the end of your public education. Now, how will you begin the rest of your life? Thank you.